Welcome to video 110 in series 3, and in this video we'll write the script for toggling the burst fire indicator. Okay, make a new script. Gun burst fire indicator. Private gun master gun master. Public game object burst fire indicator. No start and update. And just a new method void toggle indicator. If burst fire indicator is not equal to null, then burst fire indicator dot set active to not burst fire indicator dot active self. So just set it to its opposite active state. That's all that is. Gun master is equal to get component. Okay, and of course set initial references. Gun master dot event toggle burst fire plus equal uh, toggle indicator. Then minus equal toggle indicator done. Uh, so that's it. Super, super simple. Let's go back. Uh, go to the gun. Drag it on. And find the burst fire indicator. So it's in the, uh, uh, well, it's just right here, image burst fire. It's disabled. That's how it needs to start. Make sure you have that disabled. Otherwise, your toggling behavior will be opposite to what you expect. And just apply the changes to the prefab. Okay, let's jump in. I'll just maximize on play so you can see everything clearly. Jump in, right click, perfect. Fantastic. So I can toggle it on, toggle it off, no problem. Toggle it on, toggle it off. All good. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.